right, everybody, I am here with Ignasi, and he is going to teach me, well, it's his game. It is Imperial Settlers. We are in the hotel lobby of the Hyatt, and uh, he is going to take me through the rules of the game. I am playing as the dastardly evil and destructive barbarians. And my nephew, Steven, he will be playing as the clean to the goody two shoe Chinese. Japanese. Or Japanese, <laughs> Japanese, Japanese, Chinese. And then we have over here with Devon, and she will be the Devin. Romans. You know, Devon, I'm sorry, but these Romans look a little too snooty for me, I'll be honest. They look like they're just thumbing their noses. So my barbarians are gonna have to do something about that and maybe ransack. We will once again repeat history and destroy Rome. But until then, let's see how this game plays. All right, so we finished up the first round of the game. We are getting five total rounds, and we have to, let's see, we're, who is the who's the piece of food? Who is the piece of food? Japanese. Uh, it's the Japanese. Uh, Steven, the Japanese, is the piece of food, but we're all tied. We only just, we didn't produce a whole lot of points. But that's okay. The engine is being built, and that's the good thing. Now, I have produced uh, two buildings here on each side, uh, which I'm feeling pretty good about that. Plus, I have this one, which I'm going to be breeding like like cats in heat. I mean, rabbits. like crazy, like rabbits in heat. But Steven actually has done very well as the Japanese as well. Built quite a bit, which is very impressive. And over here we have the Romans, which, yeah, it's not too shabby in itself, given the fact that this is our first game. Now, the one thing that I noticed about her is she has two cards that she's built down here, which is very impressive that once she spends wood, I'm sorry, food and stone, she's gonna be able to start gaining victory points. That is not good, but that's okay because I have the ability right here to steal resources because I'm evil. Anyways, round two, go. All right, so here we are at the beginning of round three, and I am an action-producing machine, but I don't produce stuff. I just like to take stuff. I like taking stuff. I, uh, I make weapons, I destroy buildings, I build these types of buildings here over on this side that allow me to take the resources and I can do that twice. This here would allow me then to free up this so that I could do it again. So three times per round, I can steal their stuff, which is funny to me. Um, now, not so much to them. Now, Steven there, late in the game, was starting to get a little carried away with his production cards. So we had to do a little something. We ganged up on him and we destroyed a couple of his buildings. <sighs> but this is becoming a problem. This here is becoming a real problem because she's producing a ton of resources and I know this is gonna become a big issue later in the game. What scares me more than anything is I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to destroy this thing, but I think uh, one or these two, I don't care, because I'm gonna to have to cut down on her people, bottom line. Um, or I need to come down here and take care of some of this. I don't know. But the score is still close, nobody's run away with it. Um, Steven being the apple, Japanese apples. Yeah, they're delicious, but I'm still in last, but that's okay. I have feelings that I can do something here eventually, if nothing more than just torment my opponents. All right, so here we are at the beginning of turn four. All right, the barbarians are breeding. <laughs> when I said that they were breeding like crazy, like cats in heat last time, or rabbits, as uh, Devon likes to say, Devon, uh, I was wrong. They're, uh, it's amazing. I mean, this turn I have produced so many people. And the reason is because I forgot one little thing is that I can store them. So I carried some over just for this purpose, to try to have a bigger round. But we have the Apple Lord over here. I mean, look at this. What are you, trying to grow an orchard? I mean, uh, he's going to be able to... Now, one thing I'm going to tell you, okay? This is what apples do for you, okay? They're allowing you to be able to put cards underneath here, which then is allowing him then in turn to be able to create more resources for the each turn. So basically he... Spent an apple to place this there, which got him an apple. Spent an apple, placed that there to get him an apple. And now at the beginning of this round, he got two more apples. So you see what happened here. He comboed. But that's okay because he's got some buildings turned over. I had a few that I attacked. But the great part about me is, is that I'm coming up with a ton of swords. And I'm going to be able to do a ton more. Now, Rome over here. What are you doing, Rome? Rome is, uh, in my opinion, starting to produce a lot of cards that are just giving victory points as actions. Where I'm, like, pillaging and raiding. She's just getting victory points, and as you can see on the score track, I am getting far and farther behind. So I'm going to have to do something this round, and we'll see what it is. All right, here we are in the final round of the game, and look at look what the barbarians did. Look at that. See that? But Rome is still running away with the game as of now. There's a little secret I haven't let Rome in on yet, but she will soon discover the brilliance of what I have produced here on my, my tableau is amazing, it really is. Everything that I am doing in the, as the Barbarians is just to screw with both of these players. I don't necessarily produce resources, but I produce people and I produce lots of people. And these people do lots of bad things to other people because now I've armed them. See them little swords? Yeah, they're doing bad stuff. All right, I digress. 
Apple Lord over here um, is doing pretty good. Now, one thing that was funny was, is we didn't notice, this was one of the first cards he actually built, okay? A production of one victory point. So, you're only ever going to get a maximum of five victory points out of that, and he's done it! I mean, <laughs> miraculously enough, none of us have destroyed that building, which has allowed him to keep that building alive, and he has, in fact, produced a ton of victory points out of it. Now, the, look at this. Is this not just crazy? Look at all them things he's producing each round. So he gets these automatically each round, okay? That's right there. But look at everything else. And that's because he's Apple Lord. And it's making it easier for him to just keep producing more and more. J Japanese is about producing, you know, this. I mean, they, 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 the food stores, it carries over. They build more cards. They produce more. They get more cards. And, and then it just gets... It's an engine. That's their engine. My engine's people. Their engine's that. What about Rome? Rome's engine is basically resources themselves. Now, okay, now this doesn't look like a ton of resources, but that's fine because the thing about it is that she's bouncing these off of these victory points and she's still winning the game. Yeah, for right now. So anyways, we're at the beginning of round five. We're going to see how this thing plays out and we'll see who is crowned the victorious victor. Victorious victor. That makes sense. All right, everybody. We finished up our game here and, uh, the barbarians were just too much for everybody because look how much they expanded on this side of the board. Now, the little secret was was that each one of these cards was worth two victory points at the end of the game. Unfortunately, my compadres here did not realize that. Too late. Um, so I only built one on this side and a bazillion on this side. The final score of the game, if you can see, the barbarians eked it out over them snooty little Romans who ran away early with the game and came back to destroy everybody and win. Oh yeah, it ain't necessarily a destruction, but it's still a win, ain't it? So, anyways, I have to say, I really enjoyed this an awful lot. A heck of a fun game, lots of sacrifice, lots of give and take. The barbarians are just absolutely nasty. Just the meanest faction I've ever played with. The, each faction definitely felt different. I need to now start playing with the Egyptians to see how they play because, uh, wow, this was a blast, guys. Highly recommend. Griffin Gaming, from new releases to pre-orders. Griffin Gaming, enter in promo code GREYELEPHANT for 5% off your order.